Danny Alvarez in Detroit here with WBC Super Featherweight Champ Alicia Bumgarner. Champ, how you feeling? Mm -hmm. Champ, before I let you go, I do got a couple questions from the people. All right. I got uh, Ruin the 504 in New Orleans. He says, do you think your prediction on stopping Mayer is realistic? Absolutely. It's boxing. It's, it's boxing. And, and he, it takes one punch. Okay? And, that, and that's what I know. We got James Valdez in San Antonio that says... How do you feel about having kids, your kids specifically, in boxing? I love it. Um, you know, I think future tense, the fact that I, my kids can say their mother was a world champion is amazing. Like, I was just thinking this yesterday. I'm like, that's so dope. Right. And whatever my kids want to do, but my baby's going to be athletes for sure. So, um, We got our very own Brandon Lenz in Houston that says, <laughs> damn, yeah. At any point after your win over Terry Harper, did you look at the replay and feel like the ref robbed you of a highlight? That probably might sound a bit selfish, but boxing is a brutal sport. So was there any part of you that wanted to finish her off with another combo? Absolutely. I mean, you've seen that hook. That that, that hook was coming mm -hmm. to finish her. The, the ref stopped in right at the right moment. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't want to get people hurt in the sport, but it is a hurt business. So, you know, we still got to finish what we got to do. Um. We got Mr. that says, after May, are there any talks for you to headline or be the co-main for a big card in the U.S., maybe for Undisputed at 130? Absolutely, yeah. Listen, my, my path, my journey is, is bright. And um, I can see myself being a main event car, being on a Canelo undercar as a co-main event. So these are the fights that we want, and these are the fights that are going to get me there. And with, with this fight coming up, I'm, I'm going to make a statement. And so this is going to be telling for the whole world. How many more fights do you have with Eddie? Uh, we have two more fights. Including more fights. September 10th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, yeah. And then we have last but not least, we got Mike that says, the state of women's boxing is definitely getting bigger and better. I think women's boxing has been making better matchups at the top. How do you feel about the current state? It's, it's good. You know, it's progressing. I think this card really kind of progresses more because you'll see caliber fights. You'll see the... The, the best versus the best, the elite athletes, especially in the women's game, you don't really see that much. You see pieces, you know, you see a Clarissa, you see a Katie, Amanda, but now you're seeing more than that. And so I think that's that's great for the sport. I mean, obviously not your weight class, but just thoughts on Senecia signing to somebody like Matt, uh, Top Rank, I'm sorry, and, you know, just another big name fighter on a big network. Yeah, no, I think that's great. I think, you know, Golden Boy wasn't really pushing her. She she, she kind of made that obvious. So for her to go to top rank, you know, that's going to, you know, progress her profile as a fighter. And again, keep putting women on the top. Champ, last but not least, prediction for the main event, September 10th, Clarissa Shields, Savannah Marshall. I see a knockout. From? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a great fight, but I definitely see a knockout. Champ, appreciate you. Cannot wait till September 10th. I cannot wait either. Thank you, Boxing Voice, as always, for having your girl on. Thank what you. up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.